Welcome to this le lesson. This is the second lesson in the topic indices and logarithm. So you are much welcome. So in this section, we are going to learn about uh, the negative indices. A negative indices is written like this: a to power minus m is equals to 1 divided by a to power m. Now, we can prove that by using the indices and say that uh, we have, let's say, you call it a proof. Let's say we have a to power minus m multiplied by a to power m, which we know if we apply the first row of indices, this is the same as a to power 0. But a, a to power 0 is equals to 1. We know that. We have proved that uh, in our earlier session. So we can say, if then we can conclude that a to power minus m multiplied by a to power m is equals to 1 because it is the same as a to power 0. Therefore, we can write a to power minus m divide both sides by a to power m then you have a to power a to power m. So that is a negative index. Again, uh, we can do that practically and whether see whether it works like that. So let's say practically, uh, let's have uh, 3 to power 2 divided by 3 to power 4. So we can do this, can write this as 3 multiplied by 3, that is 3 squared, divided by 3 multiply by 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3, that is 3 to power 4. We divide 3 by 3, we get 1. Divide 3 by 3, we get 1. Uh, so, we can conclude that this is equals to 1, divide by 3 squared. Uh, if we apply the rules of indices, we can we can say the same expression 3 squared divided by 3 to power 4 is equals to 3 uh, to power 2 minus 4 which will give us 3 to power minus 2 but we are working on the same expression are working on the same expression this one and the same as this one therefore the final uh, conclusion should be the same so that is the same as that and therefore uh, this is what we call negative index 3 to power minus 2 is equals to 1 over 3 squared alternatively you can also write 3 to power 2 is the same as 1 over 3 to power minus 2. So that is what we refer to as negative index. We are going to see an example to see how it works. So in this example, we are told to simplify 25 squared into bracket index a half minus a half. So like we have said about negative index, we can write this as this. Eh? And so we write 25 squared into bracket to power minus a half is the same as because a half here is negative. It is 1 divided by 25 squared into bracket. Now this changes to positive so we have to power a half. Now uh, this is equals to 1 divided by in the denominator we apply the third row of indices 
So we write this is 25. Uh, then we multiply 2 multiply by 1 over 2. Uh, 2 divided by 2 we get 1. So it implies this is equals to 1 over 25. So our expression here 25 squared to power minus a half is the same as 1 divided by 25 by applying the negative index. So in this section we are going to look at uh, fractional indices. So fractional indices are in fraction form and in simplified form. For example, this is a fractional indices which is a to power p over q. In this case, p and q should not have a common factor. Example, it should be a number like a half and not 2 over 6 because this can be simplified further to a third. At the same time, Q should not be 0 because when you divide a number by 0, it is undefined. Or rather, we can use a simpler language. A zero does not divide, divide a number. It is undefined. Now, let's have a look at an example. Sometimes we talk of uh, uh, if a squared is equals to b, what this implies is that a, we get the square root for both sides, a is the square root of b. We don't put 2 here because that is the lowest root, but no problem. It's just like we don't divide a number by 1 uh, because when you divide it by 1, it is always the same number. So this is called a is the square root. a is the square root of B. Again, we can uh, say that uh, A cubed is equals to B. Then what this means is that A is equals to the cube root of B. Here we put 3. Uh, so this is a cube root of A is a cube root of 3. We look at uh, 4. A to power 4 is equals to B. Uh, then what it means is that A is equals to the fourth root, fourth root of B. So it can continue like that on and on and on. Uh, practical example that we can take, we can take a practical example and say, if 2 is equals to the square root of 4, what this means is that 4 is equals to the square root of 4 is equals to 4 to power a half. Then we can uh, apply the third row of indices and say this is equals to 2 squared into bracket a half which is equals to 2 2 multiply by a half and that should give us 2 so we can say uh, the square root represent uh, the fractional indices so I hope that one is clear we we'll look at another example after this again we say that the cube root of 27 is equals to 3. The indices can help us to prove that. So if we write uh, in a fraction form, we write 27 to power a third should actually be equals to 27 
can be written in uh, factors of 3. So 27 is the same as 3 to power 3, then into bracket a third. We apply the third row of indices, so we write 3, open the bracket, it is 3 multiplied by a third. So 3 divided by 3, we get 1. So this is equals to 3. So indices help us to prove uh, the cubes of numbers. So another example, simplify 512 raised to power a third, multiply by 8 raised to power 2, that's divide by 2 to power 4. So let's try and get a common base. So 512 can be written as 2 to power 9 or raised to power a third multiply by 8 is the same as 2 to power 3 or raised to power 2 over 3 divided by 2 to power 4. Now here we can apply the third row of indices. We say this is 2 uh, 9 multiply by a third multiply by the same case here 2 we have 3 multiply by 2 over 3 divided by 2 to power 4 so we now have a common base 9 divided by 3 is 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 3 divided by 3 you get 1 uh, so we now have this you have 2 to power 3 multiply by this you have you only have 2 here so 2 squared divided by 2 to power 4 now we can apply the first row of indices here so we say this is 2 uh, 3 plus 2 divided by 2 to power 4 so this will give us 2 to power 5 divided by 2 to power 4. We apply the second row of indices. We have 2. Uh, this is equals to 2, 5 minus 4, which finally gives us 2. So the sim simplification of this expression is equals to 2. This is another example. Simplify 12 raised to uh, 12 x raised to power 5, y raised to power 3, and 4 ra x raised to power 3 multiplied by y. So we can write 12 x raised to power 5, y raised to power 3, all this is divided by 4 x raised to power 3 and y. First, we can divide 12 by 4, you get 3. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Uh, then, we can write, uh, this is equals to 3, x to power 5, y to power 3, divide by x to power 3, y to power 1. Now here we can apply the second row of indices. We take now that uh, we have x is a common base. So we can combine that. So we can write this is 3. Uh, we can start with x. Then it will be 5 minus 3. Then we have y which is 3 and 1. Here we have 1 then it will be 3 minus 1. Minus because it is division. So this gives us 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have uh, y squared. So that is how you simplify that. Another example. Solve the equation. Uh, 2 raised to power 2x into bracket raised to power 4 is equal to 256. So here we can apply the third row of indices and say this is the same as 2 
2x multiplied by 4 is equals to 256 is the same as 2 to power 8. And therefore, this will give us 2, 2x times 4 will be 8x is equals to 2 to power 8. Now, we have a common base, and if the two sides are equal, then we can say that the indices 8x is equals to 8. So, 8x is equals to 8. We divide both sides by 8. Divide both sides by 8. So, 8 divided by 8 is equals to 1. 8 divided by 8 is equals to 1. And therefore, our x our x is equals to uh, 1. And if you substitute here, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8, which is equals to 256. And that is the answer, uh, the answer to that, the value of x. So you have three, five questions. With what we have covered so far, you should be able to do the questions. The questions are also available on YouTube, so you can visit Teacher Wamta on YouTube. You can subscribe and be able to get the questions so that you will be able to do them. The answers are also provided uh, on my YouTube channel so you will be able to see how you solve these questions.